Here we have the completed solar panel powered pump for the rain barrel. I uh, mounted this on a piece of plywood and I used these bushings from my son's old throwaway pieces from his skateboarding because I wanted to have some distance, some clearance between the bottom of that and the wood because this solar panel gets really, really hot. So at least that'll allow some air circulation so it won't build up too much heat. But this is a this is a weatherproof solar panel. It can stay out here. Don't know if I want to leave it here if we get a big hailstorm, which is why I mounted it with hinges. This has a hinge as well, so I can adjust it. Right now, I just have this setting. I'm thinking of adding other settings to change inclination depending on you know where the sun is at any time of the day or season, year, whatever. Or to lay it down flat when we have a really bad storm. So anyway, there's that. And then the cable runs over here to this weatherproof or waterproof. It's called a Sportsman Dry Box. Picked it up at Academy for, I don't know, it was less than $10. I think it was like $6. So inside that, we have our battery. It's just a UPS battery. I picked up at one of the electronic stores, 12 volt UPS battery. And then there's the pump which can be removed to do its job. Ooh, we've got an overcharge. That's the voltage regulator. So it's saying that the, uh, the battery is overcharged. So when that happens, you can simply disconnect the battery. Stop charging. Actually, I think it makes more sense to leave the battery attached and then disconnect the solar panel. Yes, that makes more sense. Okay, so that battery is fully charged now. There it is, it's all self-contained, it's highly portable. I'm gonna set this over here out of the way and just drape this up here. So there we have it.